Hey guys, welcome to Let's Play After Dark Solitaire. That's right. Um, yeah, this is a game that was just on my computer, basically. I don't know where it came from, but we're gonna play it. So I guess I'll put my name in here, why not? And, um, yeah. So this pretty much plays just like regular Solitaire. It just looks a little different, pretty much. cards look a little different and everything, um, yeah. It looks pretty cool, I think, for a solitaire game. Yeah, if you see all these little icons at the bottom of the screen, those are the other After Dark games, which I will try to do as little LP, not really LPs, but just one little video of me just messing around on them, you know? So there is actually music for this game, but you can't hear it because I'm recording with a cam studio and I'm using a headset, so you won't, you're not going to be able to hear anything other than me talking. So I might just add some background music or something so it won't be all, you know, boring and stupid. But yeah, it's basically solitaire. Um, I'm not 100% sure of the rules of solitaire. I'm not really a big solitaire player, but, um, I think basically you have to put, um, the, the opposite color of the next ordered number, like, for, for four, red four comes after five, black, basically. I think that's the general rule for this game, and you're trying to get them all in order or something, pretty much. And when, when you get an ace, you need to put it in the, uh, you know, the, uh, little empty slots on the top right, pretty much, so, yeah. I'm not very good at solitaire, if you couldn't tell, but, oh well. It's kind of fun, I guess. My sister's really into solitaire. I'm really not. Blackjack's more my card game, so, yeah. But oh well. And all of the other After Dark games that are on here, um, most of them I have no idea how to even play. I've tried them once, and I, pff, a lot of them I couldn't even figure out what the hell I was even doing, so... Those should be fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, that works, I guess. Yeah, you can move. Something I didn't even realize until I started playing the this version of Solitaire, you can actually move cards, like you can take the 5 and the 4 from that deck there and move them somewhere else, which is kind of unique. Sometimes you may need to do that in order for, to do something here, because um, yeah, eventually the, you may not be able to win, because uh, you won't be able to make any more moves. It just depends on the cards you get. I mean, it'd be nice if I could actually win, but I've never won at this version of Solitaire. I don't think I've ever won Solitaire any version, so... Yeah. I mean, every computer I've ever gotten, has, has they, it's always had, like, Solitaire and Spider Solitaire, but... Never After Dark Solitaire. I'd never even heard of this before. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. But it's a pretty cool version of Solitaire, I think. Seems pretty cool anyway. But, um, yeah. Pretty much. <clears throat> uh, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. And by the way, I am recording the commentary for this video with Audacity because when I record with uh, Cam Studio, like the commentary gets all skippy for some reason. I don't know why, but it does. So yeah, I'm just gonna record the an audio track with Audacity and put that with the video and all that good stuff. Otherwise, you're the commentary is going to sound retarded, it's going to be all skipping and just stupid. Hopefully the, uh, um, 
the video quality, the picture is actually decent, at least. I don't know if it will be. But, um... I actually recorded my, uh... That video where I was talking about form spring. I did that with Cam Studio, and video quality didn't seem to be too bad, so... Yeah. Okay. At least it doesn't do what my other computer did when I recorded with Cam Studio. Basically, it would, uh... <clears throat> um... The, if the mouse would pretty much, like, move in slow motion. The little cursor there. It didn't seem to be doing that. Which is a step up, I guess. Okay, so I still don't know if, if I'd be able to record, like, an emulator with Cam Studio. I doubt it. You know? Thanks for watching, and, um...